first I'm gonna go and start with a matte primer and I'm going to rub that all over my face pretty much anywhere that can get oily including my forehead my nose area my chin and cheeks I'm gonna go in with some matte primer and this is from makeup forever and I'm gonna pretty much put this in my cheek forehead area because that's the place that really gets super oily and I don't want to create my face you know I don't want to make it where it's gonna be too too dry so now I'm gonna go in with the makeup forever stick foundation which I love this is color 180 and I love this in particular because it has a little bit of that kind of salmon coral kind of apricot tone and it really helps to balance um, out darkness and I'm using Royal and Lanical brushes. All the brushes used are Royal and I absolutely love this set. So as you can see right now, I'm going in with some NYX concealer and I'm applying that around my mouth and under eye area just to lift the area, not too much to color correct. As you can see, it's a really pale tone. This is just to lift and wake up my face. And um, it's, it's a highlight technique that I like when I'm not gonna wear too much makeup. As you can see, that foundation color went in and pretty much corrected my under eye, any darkness I had, and around my mouth. So again, this is just to lift and highlight the face. Now I'm going in with some Bobbi Brown foundation. And I'm using this kind of as a contour, kind of as a bronzer. The difference between the two is that with bronzer, you bring it a little bit higher up on your cheek and makes your face appear a little bit darker than it would if you were to use it just as contour. And I'm bringing it around my temples in closer than I generally would. And this is just to warm up my face and connect all the different colors that I have. Right now, I'm just going down and contouring my nose as I generally do. So what do you guys think about my new hair color? It was supposed to be kind of like a preview video. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on with my brows and I'm using the Milani wax pencil to control the hair. And then I'm going in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil to fill in the brow hair. I love this pencil, it works so great over wax. To highlight my brows, I'm using a foundation tone because I want to keep it natural looking. And now I'm just blending and I'm pretty much done. Actually, right now, I'm taking a little bit of the Bobbi Brown powder and I'm kind of deepening my crease just a tiny bit. And this lip color is Teeny Tiny from ColourPop. I've been loving this lately. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of sepia and uh, put it on top after I line it with this Milani dark brown um, lip pencil. And do a whole bunch of other stuff. I forgot that I did this. I actually also added in some highlighter that is from Anastasia. It's the gold one, and I use a little bit just to kind of give my face some natural reflection. Highlighter on a very natural skin it looks it looks really dewy and nice. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for the video. This is just some simple daily makeup. Um, if you're interested in my eyelashes, my lash lady is at Lashes by Kimmy on IG my hair color I will do another video on let me know what you guys think about it I actually really really love this color if you follow me on snapchat then you you probably were uh, there when I dyed it but I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here guys as always I want to thank you for commenting rating and subscribing I'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the 